Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This lighting is horrible. <laughs> I'm using my cell phone right now instead of my normal camera and I'm in the bathroom and I don't have any fancy lights set up. So I apologize for the lighting, but it'll do for the purpose of this video. So today we're testing out this baby right here by Revlon. I have heard a lot of people recently talk about this. I think it's because it's a dupe for the Dyson Airwrap. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, Airwrap. But I'm not entirely sure on that. This retails for about $40, $50. The Dyson Airwrap is like $400. So if this is anything like it, then it's definitely worth saving the money or at least trying this out first. So this is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I got this at Target on the shelf. It was $57, but on the Target app, it was $41, which is a significant difference. So I actually asked at the cash register and they price matched it for me. So don't be afraid to do that if you're shopping and you found it. But basically this is supposed to dry your hair and volumize it or like brush it at the same time. I've never used anything like this before. I will say, I I'm slightly terrified of round brushes, at least when I'm using them on myself, because I had an incident like a long time ago. I had to have been a teenager where a round brush got stuck in my hair and it was like completely wrapped in my hair and I had to cut it out. And so ever since then, I haven't really ever used round brushes. Now at the salon, when they do my hair and they use a round brush, I think it looks great, but it's just something that I'm kind of scared to do on my own. So I'm a little bit terrified to use this because it has the same like concept as a round brush, you know? So it doesn't look like there's instructions on how to use this anywhere. So we're just gonna figure it out together. I think I'm gonna separate my hair. I don't usually do that when I'm drying it, but I'm just a little nervous <laughs> with like the thickness. Not that my hair is super thick. My hair is pretty wet. I got out of the shower maybe 10 minutes ago, so hopefully it's not too wet. Let's see. Okay, maybe I should have read the instructions on how to turn it on. Oh, okay, there's a little knob at the bottom here. Cool, low, and high. So I'm gonna use it on high. Definitely warm. Okay, <clears throat> well that didn't take too long. It took a little bit longer than I thought. I think I should kind of brush through it a little bit slower, maybe next time. But this piece is pretty dry. I don't want to say it's voluminous, but there is like a little curb at the bottom. So let's see, what time is it right now? <clears throat> it is 2.34. I'm going to try to do the rest of my hair and see how long it takes. So 2.34, my guess is it's going to take 10, 10 minutes. Yeah, because this section, so I could probably do like five more sections on the bottom. We'll say 10 to 15 minutes. But if this is the only styling that my hair needs, like no hair straightener, no curling iron, then it might be worth it. So, all right, 235 now. All right, let's go. Okay, so it's 2.46 now, so that took 11 minutes, exactly kind of how long I thought it was going to take. It definitely dried my hair. Um, I was afraid it wasn't going to be able to dry my hair. It took a little bit longer to dry my hair than it does with like my standard hair dryer. Now, my standard hair dryer is the T3, so it's very powerful, and it was very expensive. It was like two or three hundred dollars. So I can't necessarily expect a Revlon product to be as powerful as something like this. So I, I expected that it was going to take a little bit longer. Um, I do feel like my hair has some volume and some bounce to it. It might be hard for you guys to see, but at the bottom, the brush made it like a little bit turned under. And that kind of just adds a little bit of bounce. I don't have many 
like layers in my hair right now. I mean, like maybe there's a layer right here. I will say the hard part was getting my scalp dry because when you have a hair dryer, I hold my hair dryer like this when I'm drying it. So my scalp is typically the first thing that dries because it's like right there. And then my ends are the last thing to dry. And so with this, you can't get very close to your scalp. I mean, you can, but there's still like, you know, and so it doesn't dry, like my scalp still feels a little bit on the damp side. So if you're somebody who has curly hair and you're using this to straighten your hair, I think you'll have a problem with like your scalp not getting, and maybe that's done on purpose. So you still have like the volume of your natural hair here and then, I don't know, I'm not too sure. But overall, I do think it's really nice. My hair feels really nice. I don't feel like I need to go in with a straightener or a curling iron or anything like that. I definitely can just keep my hair like this and, and I think it would be totally fine. I didn't need a separate brush when drying my hair, which was a plus. I did go in a couple of times just to brush things out a little bit, but I definitely didn't need to. So yeah, so far so, so good. I'll have to try it a few more times and just you know, see what my thoughts are on it, but I would be really curious to see how it compares to the Dyson Airwrap. So if you guys have both or have used both, let me know your thoughts. Um, I don't know that I'm in the market to spend $400 on a hair accessory anytime soon, but maybe. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in this product, I will link it down below so that you can check it out. It is cheaper online, so maybe buy it online um, through the link or whatever, Google it or whatever. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Thanks. Mwah.